Resplendent quetzals are weak flyers, they are considered specialized fruit eaters, although they mix their diet with insects. Particularly important are wild avocados, which the birds swallow whole before regurgitating the pits, which helps to disperse these trees. The skin of the quetzal is very thin and easily torn, so it has evolved thick plumage to protect its skin. This species plays an important role in various types of Mesoamerican mythology. The courtship and bonding of rhinoceros hornbills are critical, as the female must trust the male to provide her with everything when she is incubating and raising chicks. These hornbills make their nests inside tree trunks, and the female stays inside with the eggs and then with the chicks, while the male brings them food. The diet of the rhinoceros hornbill is dominated by fruit, but it will take any small animals that it can catch. Like all kingfishers, the common kingfisher is highly territorial, since it must eat around 60% of its body weight each day, it is essential to have control of a suitable stretch of river. It is solitary for most of the year, roosting alone in heavy cover. A challenge for any diving bird is the change in refraction between air and water. The eyes of many birds have two foveae a light receptor, and a kingfisher is able to switch from the main central fovea to the auxiliary fovea when it enters water. The underwater vision is not as sharp as in air, but the ability to judge the distance of moving prey is more important than the sharpness of the image. The name laughing kookaburra refers to the bird's laugh, which it uses to establish territory among family groups. It is widely used as a stock sound effect in situations that involve a jungle setting. Kookaburras hunt much as other kingfishers do, by perching on a convenient branch and waiting patiently for prey to pass by, like mouse. The greater honeyguide feeds primarily on the contents of bee colonies, its English and scientific names refer to its habit of guiding people to bee colonies. Claims that it also guides non-human animals are disputed. These birds get their English name from their ability to turn their heads through almost 180 degrees. When disturbed at the nest, they use this snake-like head twisting and hissing as a threat display. This odd behavior led to their use in witchcraft, hence to put a jinx on someone. While the bill of toucans seems large and cumbersome, it is in fact a spongy, hollow bone covered in keratin, a very light and hard protein. Keel-billed toucans are very social birds, rarely seen alone. They fly in small flocks of approximately 6 to 12 individuals through lowland rainforests. Their flight is slow and undulating. They have zygodactyl feet, two toes face forward and two face back. Because toucans spend a large portion of time in the trees, this helps the birds to stay on the branches of the trees and jump from one branch to another. Terror birds are an extinct clade of large carnivorous flightless birds that were the largest species of apex predators in South America during the Cenozoic era. Forasurhacos is thought to have lived in woodlands and grasslands and was a very fast runner. However, even with these attributes, the Forasurhacids are often assumed to have preyed on relatively small animals that could be dispatched with a minimum of struggle.
It is not entirely clear how Kalenkin captured and killed its prey. As a large flightless carnivore, Kalenkin likely chased down and killed its prey with several bone-shattering blows from its massive beak. Another possibility is that it may have picked up its prey item, then proceeded to shake it vigorously in order to break its back. It is possible that Kalenkin may also have been a scavenger, driving off other predators from their kills with its impressive size. Titanus is one of the larger species, it had a relatively rigid wrist, which would not have allowed the hand to fold back against the arm to the same degree as other birds. Like the majority of Pleistocene megafauna, terror birds were killed off by human activity such as hunting or habitat change, even if it's not considered valid. The red-legged Suriema prefers grassland habitat to any other, it typically walks on the ground and can easily run faster than a human in its habitat. It will flee a car on foot at speeds up to 25 km per hour before flying. Farmers often use them as guard animals to protect poultry from predators and sometimes human intruders. Found wild throughout the drier parts of Australia, prior to colonization Budgerigars had survived harsh inland conditions for 5 million years. It is closely related to lorries and the fig parrots. They are the third most popular pet in the world, after the dog and cat. Male specimens of budgerigars are considered to be one of the top five talking champions amongst parrot species. In wild, they are nomadic and flocks move on from sites as environmental conditions change. The birds are normally found in small flocks, but can form very large flocks under favorable conditions. Movements are tied to the availability of food and water. Sulfur-crested cockatoos can be locally very numerous, leading to them sometimes being considered pests. A highly intelligent bird and naturally curious, they have adapted very well to European settlement in Australia and live in many urban areas. They have been known to engage in geophagy, the process of eating clay to detoxify their food. These birds produce a very fine powder to waterproof themselves instead of oil as many other birds do. Kakapo's anatomy typifies the tendency of bird evolution on oceanic islands, with few predators and abundant food, a generally robust physique at the expense of flight abilities, resulting in reduced wing muscles and a diminished keel on the sternum. It is critically endangered, the total known adult population is 142 living individuals, all of which are named. The kakapo was a very successful species in pre-human New Zealand, and was well adapted to avoid the birds of prey which were their only predators. The house sparrow is strongly associated with human habitation, and can live in urban or rural settings. Though found in widely varied habitats and climates, it feeds mostly on the seeds of grains and weeds, but it is an opportunistic eater. Because of its numbers and association with human settlements, the house sparrow is culturally prominent. It is extensively and usually unsuccessfully, persecuted as an agricultural pest. Though it is widespread and abundant, its numbers have declined in some areas. The Eurasian tree sparrow's extensive range and large population ensure that it is not endangered globally, but there have been large declines in Western European populations, in part due to changes in farming practices involving increased use of herbicides and loss of winter stubble fields. In many aspects of its behavior, the russet sparrow is similar to the house and Eurasian tree sparrows. Like them, it feeds on the ground, but spends most of its time perching on branches. Unlike those species, it prefers open, exposed branches for perching. It is gregarious and forms flocks to find food, though it infrequently associates with other birds. Indian jungle crow is an opportunist and generalist omnivore. They may soften their food by dropping them in water and have also been observed to eat sand after feeding on meat from a carcass. They have a range of cawing vocalization, in appearance it can be difficult to distinguish from either of these species although the plumage tends to be more uniformly glossed in purple and has a longer bill with a fine tip and a less arched culmen. 
New Caledonian crows have shown they are able to process information from mirrors, a cognitive ability possessed by only a small number of species. It sometimes captures grubs in nooks or crevices by poking a twig at the grub to agitate it into biting the twig, which the crow then withdraws with the grub still attached. This method of feeding indicates it is capable of tool use. They are able to make hooks. This species is also capable of solving a number of sophisticated cognitive tests which suggest that it is particularly intelligent. It has then become a model species for scientists trying to understand the impact of tool use and manufacture on the evolution of intelligence. The Java Sparrow is a very gregarious bird which feeds mainly on grain and other seeds. It frequents open grassland and cultivation, and was formerly a pest in rice fields, hence its scientific name. It has been a popular cage bird in Asia for centuries, first in Ming Dynasty China and then in Japan from the 17th century, frequently appearing in Japanese paintings and prints. Much of what is commonly assumed to be established knowledge about Lyell's wren extinction is either wrong or has been misinterpreted. It is probable that it was exterminated by feral cats during the winter of 1895. A medium-sized songbird with rich chestnut and black plumage, this species is one of the few known poisonous birds, containing a range of botrytoxin compounds in its skin, feathers and other tissues. These toxins are thought to be derived from their diet, and may function both to deter predators and protect the bird from parasites. Julia was already a rare bird before the arrival of Europeans, being extinct by overhunting and deforestation. It was remarkable for having the most pronounced sexual dimorphism in bill shape of any bird species in the world. Like most birds of paradise, male Laza's parosha are polygamous. The inside of its mouth is lime-colored. Adorned with three ornamental spatula head wires from behind of each eye and elongated black flank feathers, that spread skirt-like in courtship display. During courtship, the male bird systematically makes small movements to attract females, so the structures must have evolved through sexual selection. <laughs>